what I have here today is my Russian submarine clock I got many years ago and there's the came in a nice box with the submarine and ship's clock 5-CHM I guess that's what they call it and they have text on the side which is funny to read I don't know if that shows up. I'm not going to read it. And when you open up the box, you get the clock in a plastic bag. Oh, I can get it out. Ugh, it's slippery. And you get a base plate and uh, a key. And don't forget the desiccant. So that's that. Oh, this thing is heavy too. So there it is. Center second hand case. I don't know if you can see those. Uh, this is where the they did a piss poor plating job. When I got it, these were either rough or orange peel and there was white powder coming out of some of them I knew right away that was a poor plating I don't know if you can see the uh, the pitting but this is the second one I got and uh, the first one I had a broken balance staff and you know I'm not going to spend all my money shipping things back and forth so I kept it because it works so you got a key the key opens up on the side to open it up for you and it swings open to wind it in the center and also to set the hands well to set the hands you just move them and then you wind it here oh now it's working Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to take this thing apart, see what's inside. I already know what's inside, but maybe a lot of you people don't. Good, it stopped. So uh, the first thing you got to do is you got to pull the hands off. So the second hand, it should lift up since I took it off before. Let me try this. People may recognize this as the uh, on a computer cover the expansion slots on the case. So I'm going to try uh, lifting up the second hand. It comes off easy because I took it off already. I don't want to bend it so I tweezer it. Put that aside. Then to get the minute hand off, it's got a nut. A round nut in the center that unscrews. So, there's the round nut that unscrews. Too much shadow. I take that off, and the minute hand comes right off. It looks like it's brass. Next is the uh, hour hand, which is pressed on. So I got my uh, paper there to protect the dial. And I have my two computer expansion slot covers. And I'm going to pry off the dial. And let me get that there. Put on one on each side. And push them both. And off comes the hour hand. Again, it looks like it's brass. Okay, now oh, this thing doesn't want to come off easily. Now we got four screws on the dial. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I think I use this screwdriver. Or I use this one. Let me see. Oh, this big one works. So, whoops, four screws. I'm going to put on my extra eyes soon. Four screws. The 
box says it runs eight days on a winding, which is about true. And also, box says it has 12 jewels, but uh, the movement actually says 13. Let me get rid of these screws. I think it weighs over five pounds. So I got the screws out, and then the dial just uh, lifts off. Black dial. It's black. I don't know what it's made out of. I'd get a magnet and find out. Put that aside. So there you got the movement in the case. And you got four more screws. One, two, three, four. Too much shadow. And these come off. Ugh. One. I'll switch hands so we get some light. Two. Oh yeah, that's the speed adjuster in the the top there. Oh come on. Three. And I guess I'll still use the left hand. Four. Maybe we should put the light on the right side. Okay, let me get rid of these screws. One, two, three, four. Okay, now the movement uh, lifts out. And there you got it. Turn around. Well, you can see the mainspring barrel here. And you can see the uh, escape. Well, what's that? The balance pallet fork and uh, escape wheel on the top there. I wonder if it's focusing in on that. Yeah, you see that works. I'm going to have to wind this up. Uh, let me put this down. And there's the case. Oh, I forgot to mention the case is, as they say, splash proof. What does it say on the some box? Uh, a body is splash proof and is made of an aluminum alloy with an applied anti-corrosion coating. Well, that didn't work out too good. But yeah, it is uh, splash proof. It's got a gasket inside there. I'm going to have to fill a bucket with water and put this in there and see how splash proof it is. Of course, I won't have the movement in there. So I'm going to take this face plate off this movement so we can see uh, behind it so there's three screws for that one two three Ugh. I'm just gonna slightly loosen them because I don't want the thing to drop off so they're loosened let me get this out of the way since we're finished with it for now and I put it back here, and now I can take these off. Whoops. One, two, three. I'm going to tweezer these. Those are big ones. And three. And, uh... I don't know what you call that mounting plate. Who knows? Put that aside, and this one's loose. These two are stick on. These are plastic. I don't know. Maybe it's like a shockproof. So there's the movement. There. I don't know if you can read that. Where is it? Right over there. It says, uh, "What does it say? Russia, 13 jewels." And I found them all. They're there. These are just. Uh, holes in the plate. Looks these are probably brass plates. And there's from the side. Oh you can see the wheel. So now I'm gonna wind this thing up. Oh this uh this here is to release the mainspring. It's got something in there where you can only uh there's a preload on the mainspring. I don't know if you can see this over here. Yeah lighting sucks. Anyway, it's preloaded on the mainspring. So now let me wind this up. What do I do with the key? 
Let's line it up. Which way does it go? Oh, it goes that way. And it starts, ticks off right away. I wonder if we can see how we lined it up this way. I don't know if you can see that ratchet thing go click, 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 click. And we'll look at it from this side. There's not much to see. Oh, this thing is really up all the way, so it, it stops. It uses a portion of the main spring, though not the whole main spring, with that mechanism in there. So there it is running away. Wow, that thing really spins. That's almost like uh, 360 degrees on the balance wheel. Definitely more than 270. 270 is probably like 315. And you can see it tick away. I don't know if you can hear that because I got the microphone on my shirt. Oh, now I gotta put this thing back on my shirt. Oh crap. Okay. So there it is. How much time do I got? Oh god, I got plenty of time. Yeah, second hands in the middle. They do this. I guess they do this off to the side because the the sweep second hand usually this stuff is inside. I don't know what I'm talking about. So that's your Russian movement submarine clock. Uh, again, we'll show this. Thing goes like gangbusters. I'm going to make sure these screws are tight. Yeah, they're tight. I didn't take this apart. There's no, read, no need for me to take this apart, so... I'm going to leave it the way it is. And it's got oil in there, so... So let's see if I can put this back together. Ugh, come on. Ah, let's see. I'm going to put the spacer back here because it's fell off. Put this rested on top. Give me some screws. I can't see the holes. That's one hole good. If I get two of them then the third one goes. Screw this in. Third screw. This one's gonna give me grief because the spacer. Spacer's in, good. Okay, let me tighten these things up. I just hold it. Next, oh now I gotta case it. Oh, this thing's heavy. Drop it back in. I don't think I forgot anything. Where's the holes? Line up the holes. Four screws. One. Two. See if I can get these in. How much grief are these gonna give me? Yeah. Okay, ah, crap. I got one of them in, that's good. And the second one over here. Oh, come on, it's on the edge. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, that one doesn't want to go. Oh, crap. Yes, got two of them then. That's good. So the other two should fall right in. Come on. Okay, four screws in. One. Let's do opposite corners. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Now you got the dial. Center that. Oh, I can't see anything. Okay, let's see if we can get the dial in. Three, where's the third one? Four. Let's see how much grief these give me. That's one in. Two. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, come on. Three and fourth one. Oh, got them all in. Yay! Two opposites. Oh, I think I scratched the paint. Damn it. Tighten them too much because I probably strip them. Eh, all well, good. Uh, let's see what's next. Oh yeah, our hand. Let's see. Well, what you gotta do is you gotta realize since this is a uh, a square opening, it's best to. Uh, well, let me line it up on an hour. I'm trying to center it. That looks good. So now I can put the uh, hour hand on. At an hour mark. Oh, come on. I think that's about right. I guess I'm going to push it with my hands. I thought I had a tool. Whoops, I moved it. That's close. I think that's good. Whoops, don't want to go too far down because then it's going to rub on the dial. Ah, that's close. Enough. That's good enough. And then the minute hand just drops on because it's a square. And I got the nut for it. Come on, come on. When you try to rush, it's not threading right. Maybe it's got it upside down. Okay, there it is. Let's see, center. There, there's like about there, I guess. That I'm gonna tighten by hand. And then the second hand. Which drops right in. Let me uh, do a little push. So there it is. I got it all together. And yeah, there's your speed adjustment at the top. And there's your Soviet submarine clock running. It's very noisy. locked. So that's it. That's my Russian clock. Well, hope you enjoyed the show because uh, this has gone on long enough. Let's get a frontal of it.
and then you can listen to it. And that's the show.